And we got the lawn. Uh, the lawn isn't actually mowed. Well, that little bit over there is mowed, and you see a little path there I mowed. This is weed whacked. I bought a weed whacker. No thanks to you, brown bag. Tequila drinking out of the kiddie pool. All right. A lot of people have been saying, uh, Earl, you've lost your way. Um, you're not following the blueprint, yada, yada, yada. You know the deal. I've tried to explain that I'm beyond the rules, that Sir Walty 79 is calling me home. Malt liquor. Uh, but then I'm like, what is, what if I've lost my way? What was my way? And then I suddenly realized I haven't made like a, a really decent I hate dwarf video in a long time. I'd have to say, go so far as to say, reptilian flyover. burritos at your local gas station folks. Get them while they're hot. And now I feel like a plane is going to crash in my backyard in a moment. Alright. So I haven't made a def decent I Hate Dwarf video in a really long time. I remember when I did Dwarf Week, which probably lasted almost a month, where some days I'd put up like three I Hate Dwarf videos. That's when uh, all those I Hate Dwarf songs, Everybody Hates Dwarf, do 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 do, came out. So anyway, I've got some ideas. I want, I'm going to go next level. Um, if you're on Facebook, if you go to It's Your Fault Dwarf, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for some advice on that uh, particular page. Seeing, seeing as that is the clearinghouse for all, all anti dwarf information, but I got some ideas. For instance. Everyone's like saying, like, what's that squirrel carrying? Is that squirrel carrying another squirrel? That squirrel is carrying a baby squirrel. No, I can't see it no more. I've never seen that before. That reminds me of, like, when I first started making videos, and I'd be talking to my camera, and I'd be walking by a deer, and I'm like, oh, a deer. Oh, that brings me back. Back to my roots. Walking in the woods, talking about how much I hated dwarf. Oh, but anyway, in that last Labor Day, last year's Labor Day, but the year before, is when I organized the, uh, the Sudden Stop Dwarf. Sudden Stop Dwarf event, where... Uh, I had these different ideas, but we did some research on laws. Um, so what it ended up being is like, everyone met up by Dorf's house in northern Washington. And he's on that cul-de-sac, and he's got that street with the stop sign right there. And so we would just drive by his house, and we had to do it at a reasonable speed. My idea was like to rev our engines, but it turned out there was laws against that. But there is no laws against sudden stops. So when we come to that uh, stop sign right next to his house, just lock up the brakes. Just everyone sliding to a stop. And we did that like for six hours. It was awesome. Little, no fun, little known fun fact is that actually leaves a fairly large amount of rubber on the road and you start to uh, eventually start sliding. So we had to start braking earlier 
and you get these really long slides. It was great. It was high screechy noise. I, I liked it like as I locked up my brakes, I'd have like a battle cry. I'd scream, Godzilla! That was a good time. So like, let's let's do that again this year. I think last time like, like only eight people showed up. It'd be nice to see like over ten. I gotta put Dorf's name in my titles more often. I'm getting so good at eating these burritos, I can tell when when one's gonna drip. I can I can I can sense the shift in weight. All right. This was a really productive video. I came up with a lot of good ideas uh, in my mind. <sighs> now, so I'm gonna take the rest of the day off. I think I've done my work for today. I remember about sometimes like when I used to make videos, I'd zoom in on something and then forget I'd zoomed in. And then like the rest of the video would be like a close-up of my ear. Oh, that was really good times.